This is another big one. All right, y'all, we are out here on Lake Granger today. Um, we're gonna see if we can catch some white bass. That's what we're looking for primarily, but we'll go for anything, really. Uh, we're just right here on the boat ramp right now. Uh, just casting around this tree and just throwing out here. There's a big fish that jumped right there. Um, casting this out here, just in this cove real quick. Just a Mr. Crappie little grub like this on a uh, black jig head see if we can catch anything here first but we're gonna head out to our tried and true spot out there in the middle of the lake on that hump to our spot here we're just gonna cast a few times before we start trolling see if we get anything so right here we're coming up to we're about to get real shallow and uh that's where they've been kind of about two or three feet of water just kind of uh going after shad so that's why i want to see if we can get anything here first if not then we'll just start trolling the uh, uh the contour line Actually, we're gonna we're gonna start trolling now anyway. So I got the trolling motor going up front. So we'll just troll this really slow. Right now, I'm using the Tarova. I have it on heading mode. And I also set it to one mile an hour. And it's doing pretty good. This is an older model Tarova. It's 2013. In 2017, they did a big update that really made uh, really made these things a lot better. Because the spot lock on this is sometimes kind of crazy. And it doesn't hold a heading as well as I'd like. So uh, there is an upgrade I can do for it. Which I'm probably going to end up doing. Uh, because you replace the control board and then, it, uh, then you have basically the newer model ones so that's probably what I'll end up doing all right we got one first fish of the day he looks like he's gonna keep. All right. Oh yeah, solid 11 and a half. All right. One white bass in the boat. He actually hit that pretty hard too. All right, so we're just trolling along. That was about, I don't know, I guess 13 feet of water, I think. And, and I actually wasn't paying that much attention because uh, uh, I was trying to find a brush pile that I'd marked on the waypoint just along this uh, contour line so I was mainly looking at that I just happened to look over and that pole was bent over
There's one. Oh man, I think he got off. Yep. Dang it. Man, that is just something. We're gonna stop for a minute right here. See if we can catch him. All right, well, back on the move. Today on my casting rod, I'm using this little spoon right here. Uh, this is kind of my lucky charm. As you can see, the hook has seen a little bit better days. It's probably kind of why I lost that last fish, but that's uh, that's okay. I really like this lure. And I found that only with two barbs, it's actually a little bit easier to deal with than most treble hooks. It's a little bit better. If you haven't tried this Sunkissed Water Lemonade Soda, really really good i definitely recommend it Fish. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I had a uh, I had a fish on most of that time and didn't even know it. And that's the same place that I got the bite on the other one. And that one is 12. He'll keep. It's a good thing too, because he swallowed that. Uh, he swallowed that hook. All right. Very good. I thought it felt a little weird, but I didn't even know I had him on there. All right. Let's turn around. We'll go do it again. At least that one didn't get away from me. And of course, I couldn't turn the uh, GoPro on my chest on. For some reason i turned it off but it when i hit the record button it should turn on and it definitely did not Whew, that feels like a good one too Oh my goodness, that is. Wow. Folks, white bass like this. This is a big, <laughs> this is a big white bass. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's measure this guy. Fifteen, just over fifteen. Wow, that is a good-looking fish. Here right. you go. All right, that's three. Of course, as always, we're using the trips divers with just uh, weedless spoons on the end. Um, started going to the weedless after I would snag some stuff on the on the bottom here every now and again so all right y'all it's looking pretty good uh, historically this is kind of how it goes for me it doesn't really turn on until 11 o'clock noon it's 11 45 right now Let me 
seem to be hugged up right against this more shallow water here. I'm telling you guys, these white bass are good. If you have never uh, had white bass and you like crappie and things like that, um, I don't taste the difference, especially when you fry it. Uh, even without taking the red meat out, you can't, I can't tell the difference. It's a very white and flaky meat. Uh, hardly any fishy taste at all. Uh, so I highly recommend it because these, these fish are fun to catch. Um, and they're almost easier to catch some crappie sometime if, if you know what you're doing. Um, like I said, all we're doing is following these contour lines of where, uh, where it kind of drops off from 10 to 13 feet, where it drops down to about 25. And we have the, uh, the spoons out behind us trolling at about 10 feet. I have tried to film several videos since the last fishing video, but I have failed miserably. Whether it be camera issues or I got skunked or the weather was absolutely horrible and, and windy. Uh, there was, uh, Scott and I went out to Lake Somerville, went up to the lake house, uh, spent a few days up there and uh, and our whole main goal was to bring the boat and go fishing. Well, I went down the first day kind of early and went out on the water and, and caught like one one white bass and one carp. Um, and I don't I don't remember if the camera is rolling for that. If so, I'll, I'll flash it up on the screen here. But um, well, weather was okay. I was just kind of scouting stuff out. And so the next day we went and the cold front blew through while we were out there at about 8 a.m. And uh, kicked it up to about 25, 30 mile an hour winds. All right, we're back for day two. And day two with Scott looks like this. I mean, we, the prop was coming out of the water and we were trying to get back. Um, water was coming in the boat when, when I tried to let Scott off to, uh, to go get the trailer. Uh, yeah, we went back at noon to go back to the house and, and we were gonna wait till evening to see if maybe the, the wind would calm down, but it never did. Um, Cause usually evening time, it, it'll calm down a little bit and you can get out there and do a little fishing, but it was just strong the whole time, so. Uh, the only boat ramp, well, the closest one to us that's open is the Yewal Public Boat Ramp, which is on the, uh, it's on a point on the main lake and uh, facing to the north. Well, this was a north wind and um, yeah, it, it just, it was not doable. So uh, I meant to record two whole days of fishing out there and I didn't really get anything. I'm also wearing a chest camera for the first time. Uh, well, first time y'all are seeing, so. Uh, with the external mic uh, and some stuff on it to cut down on the wind so we'll see how uh, hopefully that hopefully that works out well oh. ah, please. he hit that hard see what you are oh yeah about 11 and a half had a fish didn't even know it I thought it looked a little funny the pole let's just see what he is he's a keep we're gonna throw him in the live well if we catch more we'll put him back All right, every time I turn the, my chest camera off, I catch fish. So that seems to be the trick. There we go. 
go. That's a nice I saw some others swimming down there. We're gonna troll straight through the shallows here. Since this is where all the fish seem to be, we're just gonna come straight up in their home. There it is. <laughs> He's far out there. Man, this is another big one. Mm. We got to measure him just to see. Sixteen. Very nice. Come on. Oh. They're all schooling right there. Oh, they were. There's one. Oh, man, there's more right there, too. There we go. <laughs> That might be the same one, I don't know. We're right on top of them now. Oh yeah. He can go on the live well. Let's see if we can catch another one that way. No, I didn't think so. There's another one right down there too. Oh, if we can stop. There's one. Oh, come on, man. Golly. Right there at the edge of the boat. Dang it, man. That's okay. That's all right. There's one. Nice little fish. All right, well, that back one wasn't recording, uh, but it is now, I think we got it. So, yeah, the uh, GoPros and the sun just don't mix. I wish there was something that didn't overheat in the sun as easily, because here in Texas, even in, uh, you know, now in April, it gets it gets pretty warm even, or especially in direct sunlight. So uh, I've heard to take the battery out of the GoPro and that should help. Uh, but I tried to take it out right now and, and these batteries have a problem with uh, kind of getting bloated and then getting stuck in there. So this one is actually stuck in there. I couldn't get it out even with fire. So I'll have to 
work with that later to get that battery out of there uh, but for now we'll just uh it's working and we'll keep on filming and see what happens <laughs> here's the littlest catch of the day right here i don't think we need to measure him i think the smallest white bass i've caught Let's see if this one will keep. A little bit bigger than the last one. Yep, he'll keep. This one is ten and a half. Right now, I'm just putting all the the little keepers in the live well. All right, got us another one. Nice little fish. Let's just weigh this one just to see. Or weigh it, measure it just to see. Oh yeah. All right, man. In the box you go. I think I have a fish. This is my line, and I do. Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, I mean, at least we caught a fish, so uh, hang tight and we'll fix it. A very nice one at that. are going in the box. He was almost 16. So these are big white bass out here. few and far between but we're still still finding them pole here was doing some funny things so we're gonna check it out and see what see if maybe there's a fish on it hey there is It's just barely Tim. We're gonna let this one go. I think, I think we may have something on this one. Unless we're just dragging the bottom. Yeah, I guess we were. <laughs> Another super tiny fish. All right, y'all. I think that's going to do it for us today. We're going to have to get back to the boat ramp. And uh, got to go pick up the little one. And we got to clean some fish. All right, y'all, so that's gonna do it for today. Uh, we ended the day with like 15 fish, I think. So uh, this uh, this white bass fishing is the way to go, in my opinion. It's, it's easy, um, especially if you get on those schools. Uh, if you get on the schools, I mean, you can, 
reel them in just one after another. So I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and we're going to go home and clean some fish.